Hi everyone, my name is Frankie and welcome to a Movie A Day Challenge. Today is day number 350 and it's December 16th, 2018. Today I'll be watching the 2015 Christmas film, North Pole, Open for Christmas. Now in each episode of a Movie A Day Challenge, I pick one film that I've never seen before. And then I take that movie's movie poster and place it to the side of me. I do this because I absolutely have no idea of what the film that I'm about to watch is about. And being that I have absolutely no clue about the film or what it's about, I feel like I need to draw some type of conclusion of what I think the film may be about, based solely on the movie poster itself. In saying this, let's go ahead and take a look at the 2015 Christmas film movie poster to North Pole, open for Christmas. Now, this is a continuation of yesterday's film, so it's a sequel. And being that the main character is there, I'm taking that maybe this is her family in some way. You've got uh, Aunt Becky from Full House. And I think that's the dude from My Best Friend's Wedding. So I'm expecting a family-friendly type film, a Hallmark-type movie. Uh, you know, just a love, wholesome holiday film from this you know movie poster right here. Looks like it's going to be a cool and interesting film. I'm looking forward to sitting down and enjoying the 2015 Christmas film, North Pole, open for Christmas. Now, after I finish analyzing the movie poster itself, I then let you, the viewer, know that I'm going to go ahead and watch North Pole, open for Christmas. But before I go and do that, I want to let you, the viewer, know that after I finish watching North Pole, open for Christmas, I then come back and tell you a little bit about the film. However, I don't go in great detail about the movie. You see, I don't release any major spoilers about the film, nor do I tell you anything about the movie's plot either. Why? Well, because I don't want to ruin your chance at watching a really great film for the first time. And since this is also my first time watching North Pole Open for Christmas, I wouldn't want anyone to spoil the film for me by telling me any major spoilers about the movie or anything about the movie's plot before I actually go ahead and watch the film myself. I want you to enjoy this film for what it's worth and be entertained by it. That's the sole purpose for a movie a day challenge. Now, in case you've previously seen the 2015 Christmas film, North Pole Open for Christmas previously, then please feel free to substitute North Pole Open for Christmas for another film for your viewing pleasure. It doesn't even have to be in the genre of Christmas films. This way you can take part in a movie a day challenge and possibly watch each film along with me as I go along. In saying that, I'm going to go ahead right now and watch the 2015 Christmas film North Pole Open for Christmas, and then I'm going to come back and tell you a little bit about the film. I'll be right back. I just finished the 2015 Christmas film, North Pole, Open for Christmas. And I want to let you, the viewer, know that North Pole, Open for Christmas is a good movie. I really enjoyed this film. I liked the acting. I thought the production was really cool. But most of all, it's a story that really got to me and made me enjoy the film itself. It's very entertaining and it's very family-oriented. I really think everyone would like this film. Would I recommend it to a family member or a friend? Yes, I would. Would I watch Nord Pole Open for Christmas again? Yes, I would. I really enjoyed watching it, and I hope you do too. Not just for a movie a day challenge, but also for your holiday season. Now, if you like today's episode, you see that thumbs up underneath this video? Click it. Give us a like for today's episode. As you're doing that, maybe you've seen the 2015 Christmas film, Nord Pole Open for Christmas, and like it. Maybe you've seen it and you didn't like it. Maybe you're interested in watching the film, you hear my review about the movie, you're going to go watch the film after watching this review, and then come back and write something. Well, whichever the three may be, please tell me in the comment box down below. Right down there. And as you're doing that, you see the word subscribe underneath this video? Click it. Subscribe to a movie a day challenge. Now, tomorrow is day number 351 of a Movie A Day Challenge, and I'll be watching the 2007 Christmas film, Christmas in Wonderland. My name is Frankie. I will be here tomorrow for day number 351 and the 2007 Christmas film, Christmas in Wonderland. I will see you tomorrow.